Good morning. It is February 27th, 2011. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. Today we conclude the Sermon on the Mount. And I don't know if I'm going to, I'm not going to make it through today's passage. Today's passage is very personal. I thought I'd, I'd try to make it without crying, but oh well, let's read it. <laughs> let's get into it. This is what Jesus says. Everyone, in verse 24, Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat on that house. But it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat against that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. And when Jesus finished these sayings, the crowds were astonished at his teaching, for he was teaching them as one who had authority and not as their scribes. Those of you who know me, well, and that's a few people, know my personal story in the last few years. The storms have come. And they have come hard and strong and ferocious. And I thought at times they were unending. But I, it does seem like they're, they're starting to, to dwindle down now. But I will tell you, from personal experience, this is true. I have built my life on this book, on the teachings of Jesus. And when storm after storm after storm came, and some were storms of my own making, I'll admit that. But Jesus doesn't seem to distinguish here. He just says storms, any kind of storm, the rain, the, the hail, the hurricanes. These storms have come. I'm still here. I'm still standing. And through most of it, I've stayed joyful and positive and hopeful. It's because I really believe the things in here. I believe the teachings about heaven. I believe that Jesus loves me. I believe God loves me. I believe in His grace and His mercy and His forgiveness. I believe He has me in His hands and He cares for me. And everything is happening for my good. And then eventually it will all work out. I really believe it. I don't doubt it at all. And here I am. And I've had storms that have lasted four years. But like I say, I think I'm coming out of them now. I don't see them weighing heavy anymore. But I'm still dealing with some of the consequences of those other storms. But nevertheless, this book is true. You put these things into practice in your life. You will be like that house built on the rock. And everything will come against you, but you will stand. But you know, we've gone through the most amazing teaching in the Bible. I'm, I'm so glad they put it early here in the book of Matthew. We've just taught the greatest sermon ever preached. And we're going to continue teaching through the rest of the New Testament and Lord willing we'll get in the Old Testament when I'm done with that but you're not you're, it's not going to get any better this was the creme de la creme the Sermon on the Mount you put these teachings from the Sermon on the Mount that, that's good enough you can build your life on that but there's certainly even more to come hey like I said this was very personal I'm just telling you it works this book works and I'm going to close with the last line to a song that means a lot to me. One of my very favorite sports is boxing. And Simon and Garfunkel uh, wrote a tremendous song about the power of perseverance and surviving and overcoming. And the last line goes like this. And I will link to it on my Facebook page for those of you who are my Facebook friends. In the clearing stands a boxer, and a fighter by his trade. 
and he carries the reminder that with every blow that laid him out or cut him till he cried out in his anger and his shame, I am leaving. I am leaving. But the fighter still remains. Thank you. Come back tomorrow for the next edition. Take five.